All right, so let's compare the two jacks, the H1 Humber jack and the Agile Off-Road Heavy Duty Scissor jack. They both will do the job, but why the Heavy Duty Agile Scissor jack? Well, let's take a look. The top bridge of this is two and a half inches. Over here, it's one and three quarter. The pin size on this, one inch. Pin size on this, slightly more than an inch and a quarter. So everything on this is a little bit more robust and purpose built. There's also, there's this swivel top on the top of the H1. This swivel top, it's actually designed in there. That allows that when it goes in and it can actually kind of pivot and move around. In my experience, I'd prefer to have that stationary. In some cases, what people have done and what I've personally done is, we'll take and we'll weld it right along here on both sides. But when you get an H1 scissor jack, it comes to you like this with that pin swiveling. It's super important. Both of these jacks need to be centered. Both of these jacks are not recovery jacks. Okay, so there's something you don't drive off of. They're not designed for that type of thing. Matter of fact, I don't think of any jack that really is designed to do that. Bear that in mind when you're doing, when you're, when you're using your jack. So sometimes you're gonna get yourself into a situation. Now, this has got a mechanical planetary gear in there. This also has a mechanical planetary gear in there. This one needs to be hand cranked. The crank's gonna be supplied, or you can buy the Agile upgraded crank system. When you get the Agile jack, you're not gonna get a handle with it. You're gonna use a drill on this with a half inch drive. We want you using an M18 or better drill. So here's our M18 drill. So you're gonna get a little bit more easy lift with this, where this one's gonna be a lot more mechanical doing this by hand. I would not and will not recommend for people to adapt this for a drill or an impact. We found over the years this planetary gear is just not the quality that what we're producing in ours. So this planetary gear is a little bit sloppier and you're gonna destroy it if you're using a drill. This one is designed to be used with a drill. Again, a drill with a half inch uh, socket on there, drive socket, and we're gonna go up and down, and it's designed for it. Do not use an impact, please do not use an impact. We're not gonna warranty it for you, and we'll know when you use the impact. Both these jacks do the job. This one's just a lot more purpose built, a lot more superior hardware. Hardware is much bigger. The bolts in here are bigger. The spread of it's bigger. The plate material is thicker. Everything on this really screams heavy duty and purpose built. This, we repurposed. This is a factory H1 Hummer Jack. We don't do anything to these. We didn't design anything on this. This is designed for picking up an H1. The only part that we did is we made this little adapter in there and that's it. Use both these jacks at your own risk. You must be very, very careful whenever you're lifting up a vehicle. You're on flat ground, you have your emergency brake pulled. Everything's done to the T. This is no joke. When you're picking up a vehicle, especially a 10,000 pound van, you don't want to just be throwing something underneath there. Pay attention, make sure everything's centered up and jack that vehicle up nice and straight. Happy trails everybody. Take a look at both of these that we've got. I've used them both. They both work. They both work great. This one, it works fantastic. So the key to that is the drill and the ease and how much quicker it is. So for me, this is my choice. But if you're on the trail and you have one of these, it'll get the job done.